Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome to day 15 of the Command 66 Day Challenge. Yesterday, we started working with opportunities, and we are going to continue. We talked about the phases and stages. Today, we're going to get into custom checklists. So we can get into the opportunities panel by clicking here on the main menu or in the side panel opportunities. And then we're going to see the different uh, phases and stages that are already here. So let's go into appointment, for example. We'll see that it starts us off with three stages. I haven't done any editing of the stages in here. So right now, these are the three that you would see to start off with in yours as well. And let's say there are some specific things that we wanted to get done while we were in the scheduling stage. So we could click on edit stages and within scheduling, all right, so we want to make sure, let's say, uh, we want to be prepared ahead of time because it may be one of those things where we actually get them on the phone. They say, yes, come over in an hour. So we might want to be preparing um, CMA and paperwork. Might have that ready just to get some practice on CMA, just in case you don't get the appointment. And when you do get the appointment, you'll have it ready to go. Um, if you are on a team, you might want to assign buyer's agent um, this is actually listing agent. I apologize. We're in the listing section. So assign listing agent that's going to go on that appointment once you get it scheduled. And then maybe you'll say follow up with ISA to ensure appointments being set. So and maybe you say I need to follow up before I assign the listing agent. So you can click on this gray box and I can move this up. So this is actually needs to be task number two. Um, I may even say, look, I don't want to do the CMA until I've actually got uh, some follow-up done, so I move that one down. But you can see how you can move those things around within the actual checklist. Once I click on Save, you'll see this stage now has a three-item checklist. We've got the appointment scheduled, so what needs to happen next? Let's click on that checklist. Um, let's say we want to ensure pre-listing packet is delivered. I want to create custom listing presentation in command. Um, what else? With regards to scheduled, I want to confirm appointment 24 hours in advance. All right, so now I've got this set up as well. I'm going to click on save. I've got that checklist done. Um, the appointment happened. They actually kept the appointment. I got the appointment. What's an item there? Uh, to make sure I'm compliant, upload all docs to dot loop. So that way I make sure that my brokerage and I are compliant with regards to my paperwork. So that would be some examples of some checklists. I'm sure there's some items that you can think of. I'm sure there's items I will think of to include in each one of those stages. We can come back to opportunities. I actually have a listing that's in what I consider the active phase right now. So I've done some editing in here. For example, staging and photography, this listing that I have actually shows a three item checklist. Um, in preparing for this video, I thought about some items that I need to also add to it. So I'm gonna go to edit stages. Right now my staging and photography list is three long. Um, and it says sign delivery, but I thought about first I need to schedule, right? Sign delivery and then I'm going to click on that checkbox and I'm going to edit this one that says confirm. So that way I make sure that the sign actually did get delivered. And before I confirm, I've got to schedule. So I'm going to move this one up, right? Schedule sign delivery, confirm sign delivery. I've got photos taken in here. Maybe I need to make sure I schedule the photographer before I actually get the photos taken and confirm with client. That way the client knows when the photographer is coming out so the home will be ready. Let's move that up to photos taken. And then I've got listing uploaded and ready in HAR, which is the Houston MLS. So I can click on save. I've got all of those things going on. Um, within the live and showing stage, I do have a checklist here. Um, I'm ensuring that showing service is set up, CSS. I'm ensuring that my weekly client calls are occurring. Um, I could put in here, follow up on all showings for feedback and click that checklist as well. And then click on save there. So you can see, obviously there's going to be multiple stages in each phase. You can create a checklist for each one of those. Um, obviously once we get under contract, I'm sure this is where the bulk of those um, checklists may be occurring as well. So and you can do that within both your listings and your buyer stages as well, and then get into each one of those phases 
and um, create those custom checklists. So definitely keep you on track to make sure that your um, transaction goes all the way from appointment to closed so we can get that uh, family in or out of their home and obviously earn some GCI along the way as well. So happy families and happy banks and happy pocketbooks. That's pretty much it guys for this command challenge. I'd love for you to get into the opportunities submenu, start getting into your stages and your phases and create a few checklists so you guys can stay on point with that as well. As always, it's a pleasure talking to you and I will look forward to speaking with you in the morning.